back to flutter flow tip number five custom loading states and really what we want to touch on is skeleton loading states in flutter flow so what are skeleton loading states well when you have a ui like this and you have data connecting to the back end where you're fetching data you have two options you have an option to showcase loaders which are disgusting and annoying and provide a bad user experience or you can provide a skeleton loading state so here i have a ui and I have this property list view and each of these property lists um, are dynamically generated, right? So like there's 43 total and we're querying these. And when I sort them, as you can see, there's this loader that appears very ugly, if you ask me, sort of ugly. So what I want to do is I want to create a custom loading state, a skeleton loading state. I want to take this, right? And so I actually have this in here and I wouldn't necessarily, you can do this on a list view. What I'm doing here, here is I'm actually, I'm querying a collection and I'm passing a document reference here and then querying the document here. You do not have to do this. I would pass the document. I was telling my coworker earlier, I could just pass the document here so you don't have to query something here. But since we're doing this, I will showcase how to do it. And we can automatically see what it looks like in live, right? This is what it looks like now. It looks sort of bad. We have these loading indicators, not what you want. Again, so there's two things that you need. One, you need a component that is a skeleton of this. You can create that in Flutterflow. Two, you want to come over here to where your backend call is in the widget tree, select the backend query here, come to backend query loading widget, change from the project theme loading indicator to a component. Okay, now I'm going to say loading property list. Okay, sweet, there it is. Now, how do I get that, right? This is my loading element and this is what you're going to see. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like in the actual app, but then I'll come back and I'll show you how we built it. So we have our property list now and when we sort, Ooh, we're getting a nice little skeleton state instead, right? No loading indicator, just a simple skeleton. Hey, we're loading this, even a shimmer animation on there, right? That's very, very nice actually. And even as we scroll, right, instead of loading indicators, we're getting that skeleton state saying, hey, we're, we're getting more data. And again, the reason why it's so affected by this is because we're actually loading a new document every single time. You don't have to do that. Like I said, I would actually just pass the document in and have the query, right? Just be the filtered query that we're updating. So let's dive into the actual uh, skeleton state. So here we already set it on this skeleton state. I have a stack that stack has an implied height, right? So 130. That's essentially what my list view is. And then I built out and all I'm doing is I'm basically taking containers, stylizing them with my alternate color, giving them some border radius so it doesn't look terrible. Um, and then laying them out in a way that makes sense. That is very similar to my property list card. Okay. Right. We have image here, name, description, rating, location, tag, price. So very similarly, I'm doing that here. Then I have that row and I have a container above that row. Okay, this container has an opacity of three, a secondary background and an animation. Okay, this animation is a shimmer animation. Why do you have it on the container? Okay, so what the shimmer animation does is it actually removes the background or the children of whatever it's shimmering over and it just does a shimmer. I want my layout to look like this. So I'm utilizing this shimmer container. So the container has no content in it. The container is simply there for the shimmer animation. And it doesn't matter. I can do light mode or dark mode, right? That shimmer animation is existing. Can't really see it in light mode, I guess, but in dark mode, you definitely can. So you don't have to add that shimmer animation. You could just do a ghost state, right? This is what LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook does. Anyways, that's how you build a skeleton state of your loading animations for your projects. I hope this was helpful and better luck in improving your user experience in your developed applications.